Welcome to this ActionScript 3 tutorial in Flash CS6 uh, regarding the Hero Snake. You can download the uh, file, FLA file, as well as the uh, uh, engine uh, AS file from hunkim.com slash share slash hero snake folder. Right there. So when I run it, I see this uh, nice snake here, and we're going to practice arrays as well as some other things, such as the idea of a document class. So when I op open uh, Flash, so when you open heroesnake.fla, also go file open the engine.as file. So here in our hero snake.fla, we notice that there's nothing here on this black screen. So here there's, there's no code either. Now when I look at the properties of the stage, I see that we changed it to 400 by 400 pixels, and the stage color is black. Now how is it possible that when I run the program, that it's drawing some squares? So what's happening here is that we have this document class. The word engine here with a capital E refers to the fact that we're calling code within this engine.as file. So when I go file new, ActionScript 3 class, we can vary, or ActionScript file if we want to create it from scratch, but these are pretty much the same. We can actually create AS files. So I'm going to cancel this. We already did that. And I typed in, typed in some code here. So here in the engine.as file, uh, uh, usually it's pretty smart and it knows where your target is. Your target refers to what flash file, FLA file, this AS file is connected to. So when you have the document class uh, as engine, it's going to actually look for the constructor in this engine.as file. So the constructor is uh, the function that happens to have the same name as the class file. So this, all this code is run automatically. This is where your program begins. Now as I went, uh, found new, um, found new, and I chose the ActionScript 3 class file, It did not include this part here, extends movie clip. So right now, when I go to the hero snake.fla, I go to the library, and if I just, uh, I didn't even bother naming the symbol, but I did actually do something here. Uh, what I did is I actually drew this uh, square box 50 by 50. You can even uh, go to properties and change the width and height here by clicking on these boxes 50 by 50. I just use the paint, um, the fill the fill tool. Uh, I filled it blue while using the uh, rectangular uh, tool. I converted it to a movie, movie symbol. And then <clears throat> you can just delete it. It's going to stay in your library. If you go into the properties here, right click or <clears throat> what we did is we clicked on export for action script and I called the class hero. So I called it myself and I, I called it class hero. And by doing this, uh, I'm allowed to actually uh, connect this uh, with uh, this actual movie clip that I drew and, and use it in my code. So just remember that we call this hero with a capital H. Alright, so let's go to the engine class again and just remember that. So we have this engine that extends movie clip. So our, our engine itself, so our engine must extend movie clip otherwise we get some error messages such as it doesn't know what stage is as well as it's saying that uh, we uh, we must uh, extend the movie clip since it is linked to a library symbol of that type. So we're using a movie clip there. So 
get into the habit of extending or, or inheriting all the power of movie clips. Uh, so extends movie clip. Okay, so now when I save it and run it, it now works. Okay, I forgot a little brace here. Okay, don't forget the, the S, it's plural. Okay, so let's take a look at the code here. What we have here is that variable A is an array. Now when you're inside your class, this is not the place to actually assign values to it. We're just declaring the actual variables. So we have this uh, variable A, I made it capital, just to f uh, represent the fact that it's, it's, uh, it's an array. It can contain many different items inside of it. <clears throat> okay, we have the constructor. This is where our program actually begins. So this same variable a, which happens to be an array, is equals to new array. We're actually creating the array. The word new means we're creating an instance of. So we're. In, this is just the uh, what type of variable it is. This is where we're actually allocating computer memory for this array. We're actually using up computer memory. It has a storage containers inside the computer memory for this. We have a variable i, which is a number. I could have also said integer, but int. But I'm just going to say number. For i equals 0, as long as i is less than 3, i++. plus plus. i++ plus plus means i equals i plus 1. So it's this whole code block from the beginning bracket to the end bracket is going to loop three times. So each time it loops, what's happening is we have a variable h, which happens to be a hero. Now where in the world did that hero class come from? It came from our original flash file where we created a class right here. When we actually went to the properties, we can actually define our class, which happens to be based off a movie clip. So this class is based off a movie clip and it's right here. We can see it's a very pretty blue box.